Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys we are back playing some Feed the Beast on the Block Party server. Today guys we are going to uh, try doing some item sorting. So we're going to uh, use this thing that's called the sorting machine. And uh, to, to build the sorting machine I'll show you guys, it's not too bad. It's uh, It uses a filter. Um, which we have talked about before um, along with the transposers it uses these these red dopped uh, wafers um, also uses a black uh, blue alloy ingot to get these you just use a silver ingot and uh, four pieces of nickelite and uh, those will give you the this uh, blue alloy ingot um, and uh, these machines that we're going to be talking about this bat box the sorting machine these solar panels uh, the blue alloy wire, these are all blue tricity. So, uh, blue tricity is used in the mod uh, red power, I believe, um, right here. So, we get, we need the uh, alloy furnace, which we have already created. Um, we've done the, uh, we, well, we haven't done it, but here's that blue alloy wire I was talking about. Here's a sorting machine. Here's the battery box. So, uh, and here's the solar panel. So, I'm going to show you guys how each of these are built. Um, next, we're going to move over to the, if I can get out of here, we're going to move over to the uh, bat box, well, the battery box, I should say, um, right here. And uh, right here, we use these uh, BT batteries. So that's six pieces of nickelite, a piece of copper on top, copper on the bottom, and a tin ingot in the center. That gives us uh, one of these, um, one of these BT batteries. And then uh, for this, to well, we're going to need four of those BT batteries. We need another one of those blue alloy ingots. And uh, to note, guys, on the for the blue alloy ingots here, we have to cook them up in the alloy furnace, which we have. Uh, right here this brick looking thing is the alloy furnace so that is how you would uh, cook those things up for the most part now I'm gonna show um, also how to make this uh, blue alloy wire so let's go ahead and open that one up I want to kind of go over the recipes uh, just to be on the uh, safe side with you guys so um, you can you can get an idea of what we're doing here so once again it uses these blue alloy ingots and then it uses six pieces of wool along the outside so that gives you 12 of these blue alloy wires so um, they're, they're pretty helpful um, for this setup we don't need to have the blue alloy wires because you can simply just use them like this and hook up uh, if we just place this down right here by itself this is our sorting machine as you guys can see there's no power over here at all right so with a we can do a couple of things here we can either hook up one of these blue alloy wires and then it will um, start giving it power and this power will start generating and uh, continue going but um, you can also just have another solar panel right next to it because when these solar panels are connected you don't need a wire connecting them if they're placed right next to each other with the blue tricity stuff um, they still work so then that should give us twice as much power that we're getting there of course you can also use which I find is the best this uh, the basically this battery box right here because uh, this battery box is already pretty much filled right now but it will also um, charge up and the cool thing about it is we can simply place another solar panel right on top of here right so then the, both these solar panels now are charging this bat box and with the bat box right next to here uh, to our sorting machine it powers that up as well so that's kind of the um, starting idea behind this and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to uh, set this up um, back in the area to start out our sorting machine so next we're going to talk about these pneumatic tubes I'm not sure if I've talked about them before or not but uh, I want to show you guys how to build these things uh, right here and it's just two pieces of brass and then also a block of glass right in the center to get the brass you can just simply um, smelt up some brass there you can combine a piece of tin with three pieces of copper 
that will also give you the um, brass ingots so um, that's kind of the idea for the pneumatic tubes and then we have this thing that's called a restriction tube right here and I'm gonna show you guys how to build that one as well um, once you have the pneumatic tube you can just add a piece of iron right next to it and that makes a restriction tube basically what the restriction tube will do is when in a sortie machine if you want to have like a catch-all um, chest you can basically put the restriction tube on there and it doesn't matter where the chest is um, that will always count as the last slot so I'm gonna swing over to uh, my creative world just to show you guys kinda what I'm talking about cuz I already have it set up over there and you guys can kinda see the idea that we're doing so hang tight folks we'll be back hey guys we are back and now we're in my uh, testing world and this is just kinda the setup that I used before and now I'm gonna explain I'm pretty much going to have it set up this way. So there's our uh, our sorting machine. There's our battery box. And then above it, I have uh, a bunch of solar panels hooked up. Now, the thing that's cool about these solar panels, which I mentioned before, is if they're touching each other, they are considered one full string. So you could have these things next to each other. As long as they're touching, um, you don't have to have a wire hooking them up whatsoever. So on the very top of the bat box, I have this. Um, solar panel hooked up right there and here's another th important thing to note is it can actually go like around a corner or something like that as well and it will still count as one consecutive uh, solar panel for the most part now I want to show you guys what I'm talking about with the uh, restriction pipe so right now I just have a normal pneumatic tube in here and let's say I wanted this chest to be the very last place everything went to so we're going to use um, our solar panels for example. I already have a barrel designated for them. But because this is just a simple pneumatic tube, basically what's going to happen as soon as that thing goes in there, it's going to go directly into that chest because it's the first available slot um, for that particular item or for any item for that matter. So if we replace this with a restriction pipe, basically what's going to happen now is it the restriction tubes gonna count as the last uh, slot things can go in so now if we use the same solar panels right here and we uh, put them inside the chest they'll be it'll kind of bypass that and go directly into the solar panel barrel right there so um, that's something to note and then also we can look at this I just added this extra chest right here um, to demonstrate like just a stack of crystal chests and this is um, what's gonna happen here is because this is the first available slot that is where the chests are gonna go because none of the barrels are identified for that particular slot so they're gonna go boom right into this crystal chest so in my opinion the um, the restriction part pipe, uh, restriction tubes are very important when you're trying to do a sorting machine just to uh, let you guys know and I also did a little setup here of all the different um, chests that are available for the most part. So a dual chest has 54 slots, um, and it, which is the same as an iron chest. A copper chest is only 45. Um, the silver is 72 slots. Gold is 81. Um, diamond, crystal, and obsidian all have 108 slots. So uh, when you guys look at these, basically, counting down first and then going across the top is kind of what I have these right here so for the diamond chest there's nine slots down on the uh, left side and then across the top there's 12 so that gives us a total of 108 slots where those can fit in so I just wanted to show that as like a demonstration and I was curious myself because I wasn't sure um, how many slots were in each chest so um, that is definitely um, something cool that I that I found out but now we're gonna go throw this in my block party server world and I'm gonna show you guys a setup that I use there um, and we will be back in a moment so hang tight folks we'll be back shortly hey guys there is one more thing that I wanted to mention here um, for this particular setup I just have the pneumatic tubes running between the barrels um, and I know I think I've mentioned this before but just in case I have not um, basically if you use a pneumatic tube going into a barrel that's on top of if you're feeding the barrel through the bottom with the pneumatic tube um, each stack it will only go up to 64 so that is as high as that barrel can hold is just a one stack of 64 now um, if you're feeding them through the top 
like this, then you can go over the 64. So over the 64 means you could go 64 stacks of 64, basically, um, when you're when you're feeding them through the top. So I wanted to uh, make make note of that quick in case I had not mentioned it before. But now, for sure, we are going to swing over to um, the uh, block party server and set this thing up. So hang tight, folks. We'll be back. Hey, guys, we are back. We're back on the block party server now. And uh, to start this out, I wanted to show you guys um, how to make one of these silver chests. I because the iron chest they only have 54 slots available and silver you really can't use in too many things so let's just make it into a silver a, a silver chest so basically you use four pieces of silver around the corners like I've done here the iron chest that's right in the center and then we can just uh, place down uh, four pieces of glass block around that'll give us a silver chest and that'll give us more space to um, Put things which I'll show you guys a little bit later um, here's something to note that I found out uh, that's pretty um, pretty interesting if you have a barrel and you have a chest right below it that chest will not open at all so that goes the same with any of the chests um, however if you guys use I know I should have used an axe there but I don't have one in my inventory at the time and so I just use my pick if you guys actually put a ender chest below an air a barrel you can still actually open that up so uh, that's an important thing to note right there and the ender chest I'm gonna leave that one right there because I want to have that kind of um, kind of be a, a place if I want to auto sort things I can just uh, throw them in that uh, ender chest right there so uh, to move on we are gonna set this thing up and uh, the way that we're gonna set it up is I've already um, you can still see the sky right there so I've threw threw down some glass all the way up top side there and we're gonna throw down our bat box right here we're gonna throw down a set a solar panel right there a solar panel on top of the bat box that way both of these will get light and will charge this battery box and then we are actually gonna place the filter right in front of or not the filter but the sorting machine right in front um, now for this uh, sorting machine to um, we want we want the um, the bigger end over on this side and the smaller end on the opposite side because when uh, the bigger side will give us the opportunity to um, kind of for the most part uh, suck things out and start them in our automated system here. So I've already kind of started this out a little bit and I just wanted to show you guys that. So a screwdriver to turn the sorting machine around. Um, we can place down a pneumatic tube right there and then we're just going to connect it to the uh, other pneumatic tubes that I have above here as well as you guys can see I kind of have it set up for uh, barrels at this point in time and then this uh, diamond chest is going to be my catch-all chest and because I want that to be the very last spot that things collect that is where I'm going to throw down my restriction tube and that will as I mentioned previously that will make this be the last slot things can pretty much go into um, the other good thing about a, a sorting machine is you can actually color these things and we'll get into coloring a little bit later um, I don't need my shovel in there but um, I'll get into those in a little bit but I want to kind of show you guys the uh, setup that I have here so right now um, I have an ender chest set up because if I'm out mining or something I can just hook up another um, ender chest with the same bl uh, three blue across the top if I'm in a different area and have like a world anchor going and the turtle will just kind of dump its stuff into this ender chest then it will automatically be sorted for the most part um, the next thing that I want to touch on is the um, the way that I have that I want this setup. So for this setup, um, we have our um, whole stage process here with the uh, macerator, then into the furnace, then that moves out of there and goes directly into this gold furnace right here, and that you know that then we'll have things that are basically cooked for the most part. So um, for that, that's kind of why I wanted to make this um, silver chest because this is kind of where I want all of the uh, all of the raw ores to go to and we're gonna have to grab our wrench so we can switch that around because we do want the solid piece of wood on the um, outside so we'll just uh, 
right click on our wooden pipe right there and that way when things get into this chest they can go through the whole uh, step process and basically have cooked ores in this golden chest right there so we can uh, put this back um, another thing to note right here guys is I have two safes set up here so I have one safe that pretty much has my um, rare ores and that sort of thing and then another chest just kinda has miscellaneous stuff that I don't want to lose for the most part and you cannot hook up uh, tubes to those right so if we tried hooking up a pneumatic tube to the to the chest right here or to the safe it's not going to uh, accept the uh, the input so you can't have um, sorting going directly into the safe so that's gonna have to be a manual process for us um, this other ender chest that I have here is basically kind of where I keep all of my emergency stuff so my turtles um, a world anchor another ender chest my linking books um, water lava that sort of thing so um, with that in mind I can just always use this ender pouch that I have created which is um, the same code that I have on this ender chest so if I was to open up this um, this ender ender pouch that I have here it will open up that chest so as you guys can kind of see uh, well maybe not maybe if I go over onto this side you can kind of see how the chest basically opened up so I'm able to access that wherever I want and so it's kind of nice if I come across a diamond or something like that I can just throw it right in there right away and um, it'll be safe so uh, to move on with this um, I'm going to take a drink of water and then we are going to go back and we're, I'm going to start uh, showing you guys how all this stuff works. So hang tight, folks. We'll be back. Hey, guys, we moment. are back. And now uh, before we jump into the sorting machine, what we want to do is we're going to talk about this uh, glass cover plate right here. Basically, what, a, uh, what the uh, cover plates do is, as you guys can see, the pneumatic tube right now goes into this ender chest. Well, we don't want the pneumatic tube going into the ender chest. So if we use one of these uh, cover tabs if we can find the sweet spot right there hold down shift and then and then right click on it so we place it then as you guys can see right now it kind it prevents that pneumatic tube from going into that chest the pneumatic tubes also connect up to engines so as you guys can see here I've added three more of these uh, glass covers to make the glass covers are not that bad um, we just open up our inventory here we take a look at the glass cover which is right here and uh, basically what we do is we, we would take a glass block for the most part and then we would cut it down into a glass slab, cut it again, turns into a glass panel, and then from the uh, glass panel it will turn into this uh, glass cover right here. So that's uh, what I've used in those uh, specific areas. Now to move on to the actual sorting machine, Basically what we want to do is if we put something into the inner chest right now, nothing's going to happen. So that thing's just going to hang out there and do absolutely nothing. So what we have to do is we have to basically turn on the actual sorting machine. And there's a couple of buttons here to be aware of. The two, so these two buttons right here, the first one we want set up as a circle with the yellow dot in the center. And then the second one, we want to select it so it... Uh, chooses this one with the arrow on it right so now if we place this in there um, it should get uh, sucked up right away and move along our transport pipe or our uh, pneumatic piping here and it won't go into this uh, chest because we have the restriction on there so it will go to the first available slot in this case it's this uh, silver chest that we have set up now what we want is we want the uh, stone brick to actually just go into our um, to our catch-all chest and we only want our raw ores to go into this one so to accomplish that we are gonna um, do some painting of these um, of these pneumatic pipes now I'm gonna open this up just so you guys can see what the paint looks like and they're not too it's not too bad to actually get it we have to actually create a bucket first and to create the bucket, you it, it takes uh, these tin plates. To get the tin plates, you basically take a piece of tin in the alloy furnace and you, uh, you basically 
have two iron ingots along with that one piece of tin which gives you four tin plates. With those tin plates you can then turn them into a bucket right here. So with the uh, paint can you would just basically use your paint can, use any type of dye that you would like, right? And then we use two uh, flax seeds. So what that does is that gives us a bucket of paint. And then we would also need to have a paint brush. So to make the paint brush, you just use a block of wool and a stick right there. That gives you a paint brush. Now to actually get the paint buckets, um, to get the, uh, the paint on the actual brush, you just use your paint bucket and then a paint brush. So um, that gives you the colors. So for this example, what we want is we just want this chest that's going to be our ore producing chest that'll uh, send them through the ma macerator and uh, that sort of thing. We want this one to be blue. So we can just hit blue right there. It paints the pneumatic tube. And then also within the sorting machine here, this is where we can throw down our raw ore. So you just throw one raw ore in here and then we can select this square um, to the dark blue is which color we painted that that pipe so we'll throw iron in here throw some gold in here throw some tin in here um, let's see silver we already have and also copper so um, you can you can do this on more than one so you know if you wanted to use more raw ores in these you can just change the color now for changing the colors in here you just right click to go one way or left click to go the other way so um, that's kind of self self-explanatory then um, for the things that it doesn't know what to do with we want to paint those white so we'll just click this button right here to turn it white now I've also done a white paintbrush here and where our where our restriction tube is and our basically catch-all chest that is the pipe that we want to paint white because for everything that the sorter does not know what to do with, it's going to paint it white and it will just automatically go into here. So, um, for example, we will use that stone block that I was talking about before. We'll throw it in here. It'll go through the sorter and it paints it white. So then what this thing's going to do is it's going to go along and it's going to look for a white outlet, which is right here so it will automatically just go right into that specific point now for the ores we want them to end up here and it's painted blue so now if we take let's say um, some silver ore here we throw it into the ender chest take some out paint some blue and it will bypass this first one because it's white and it will only go into the chest that is uh, blue so then they'll all collect basically right into this chest right here so that's going to be our raw ores and then when we turn on our uh, machine here then they're going to suck them out of this chest put them into the macerator then into the furnace then out to our gold uh, chest right there now the other part about this is if it does collect um, i'm just going to grab some cobblestone for example right here if i can open that up we're going to grab a full stack of cobblestone right here and because we have cobblestone in a couple of barrels here it's going to look for the first available one since these barrels already have some sort of block identified in them then they're going to go to this point even though when we put it into the actual ender chest it's going to paint it white because we haven't clarified where we want it to go but even though it's white it will still go into the identified barrels and at the very last resort it's going to go to our catch-all uh, chest right here so um, i hope that kind of helps for uh, doing some auto sorting and of course you can make these things as massive as you'd like and this one i've combined both uh, barrels and also chests and there's so many different colors that you could possibly use you know we could have another pneumatic pipe going into this chest if we wanted um, where i kind of have a lot of other things hanging out and it could fill that one up as well as long as we painted it a different color um, so I hope that this is helpful guys I think I'm gonna call this video good 
So guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, and bye-bye.